Someone sent that over here last week. This is shock theater, as you probably know if you can read. It said so right there on your own home television screen. And we've got some movies here we're going to show you. They are called uh, Revenge of the Creature and the House of Fear. That's about all I can tell you. We've just about uh, had it here. I've got a couple of new assistants if you haven't looked in for some time. Last week they went out crabbing down at Grand Isle. And one of them unwrapped himself and got all sunburned. He hadn't been exposed to the sun for quite some time. And so it was that we were uh, busily formulating a cure for sunburn last week. Hey, Doc. Hello, Gory. How's it going? Just, just going fine, thank you very much. I wish you'd take these dolls up to your room the next time you go. Not right now, but just uh, I don't want them. get them out of here. Oh, just don't say I don't want them. You're going to have to learn to take some orders. Hey, you Doc. Uh, Listen, Storch. Storch is bad off. How do you feel? Uh, bad, huh? Well, I tell you this. I, uh, I've got a little stuff brewed up here that we were going to try on you just to see if it wouldn't help. Want to put one more little ingredient in there. It's a little sticky. I tell you what, we could rub this on and it would do it very well. But I tell you, if you really want to get to the heart of the matter, it's better to go uh, just uh, just bend over if you don't mind. Won't hurt a bit. Won't hurt a bit. <laughs> There. Mm. That didn't hurt a bit, did it? Let's get on with this thing. That should fix your sunburn up, if anything will. We've got the movies, Revenge of the Creature, and House of Fear. And let's watch one of them. Take those little take dollies to up to your room. And take this little yeah. dolly. I'm going to clean this place up it's once like and morning. for all. That should do it. By the way, Gory. Yeah. Where is old Storch? I don't know. You don't know? Do you, uh, have you seen him since we tried that new sunburn lotion on him? You remember last week you and he came back from Grand Isle and he was powerfully sunburned from having taken his wrappings off. Yeah, he's really hurt. Well, I wish he'd come around more often so I could check out the progress of this thing. Well, anyway. Oh, come in, Storch. So good to see you. How have you been feeling? He still mumbles a lot, doesn't he? he sure does. Why don't you just take your wrapping off and let's see uh, how your sunburn is progressing. My formula was right. It should be just about well by now. Good grief. Holy mackerel. You see that? I've done something awful. I wonder what happened there. This was the main major ingredient there. At least he looks better. Looks somewhat better, doesn't he? Holy mackerel. But we can't just let him run around here without any visible means of... Visible means. We're going to just have to do something about this. You know what? This ingredient, this, this formula, I was trying to cut corners last week when I put this together. 
and I left out one very expensive ingredient. <clears throat> and it won't work without it. I've just found this out. Anyway, we're going to have to make a little short trip. Where is that? I'm going to take a little trip for some more Mars powder. I've got to get up there. It's been long overdue going there. Mars? Mars, yes. I don't know, man. I get air sick. Well, you won't get sick on this trip. I guarantee. Let's see. Enter planetary space. Travel. Here we are. Enter planetary space. Travel. Diathermy. I've got the wrong page. I tell you what, I'm going to have to get these glasses changed. Hmm. Last time I'm going to go back to that George, what's his name? For glasses. Hang in there, Storch. Hang in there, Storch. We'll have this thing done for you in just a second. Where's my telephone? Good grief. Well, I tell you this. I'm going to make a phone call, and I'll be right back. You and he, uh... I tell you what. Let's watch this commercial, and we'll, uh... We'll get on with this thing in just a second. Well, good grief. I tell you this. I found the, uh interplanetary space travel people at home where they were supposed to be of all fortunate things and uh, they have agreed to take us for a small fee out to Mars where we can get that uh, ingredient that we're going to need for you Storch and uh, don't worry Storch yes Storch don't don't worry about it we'll uh, we'll have this ingredient Storch is right here I know you can't see him neither can we but we can we can feel him that's something that, uh, it's a privilege that is uh, limited to just a few of us who know him very well. And, uh, what I was going to say, what was I going to say? Oh, oh yes. Spaceship. We needed that one ingredient, the only place in the whole universe where you could find it, is on the planet Mars. And so we're going to take a trip out to the planet Mars, just as soon as we can get this thing together. And, uh, we'll be going over there just a little while but right now we've got a commercial for you to watch unfortunately it's uh no fortunately we love commercials around this place i don't know what we'd do without them <laughs> you sponsors take note out there yeah we, uh, we love you listen up
suppose the driver should be back here any moment. Uh -huh. Well, speak of the devil. Yes, sir, I am. Hello, there. Did you find Sorry, the key? Oh, yes. Found the key. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Right where I was looking for it. Well, I'm glad you finally found the key. I know the key. Okay. You're looking for the video key. <laughs> That's it. What key? Uh, we're, right we're up there. getting a little confusion of terms here. You are uh, looking for the key to this rocket ship. How much time do you think it's going to be before we blast uh, off? Well, let me start my Does clock it, and then we'll see. Doesn't somebody have to strike a match and light the fuse or some such thing? No, it has a pilot light, John. I've got... <laughs> I beg your pardon. It has a pilot light. Push a button, it's got a little electric thing. Yeah, that's fantastic. We were, we were grounded last month. Man. I have some uh, very sophisticated interplanetary machinery down in my laboratory, but I chose not to use it because it's broken. What's this thing I hope sort of work. Equipment? Would have been too. You never did tell us why you probably really want to go to Mars. Why do I want to go to Mars? I'm, I'm looking for a secret ingredient. I used to have quite a supply of it, help. but I need some more. Somebody has uh, kind of uh, ripped it off. <laughs> that's uh, that's modern for stolen it, I think. Oh, yeah, it's cold there, Phil. All right, well, y'all ready to blast off? Yes. This could be rough, Shock. This All right. a rookie what, like you. What am I going to do? Uh, do I uh, hang on to something? Yes, hang on to something. All right. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'm, I'm hanging on. That's what we all do. We all hang on to something. All right. All right, stand by. See, are you want to count it down? Grab your socks. Stand by. All right, everybody hang on now. Lean back. What? Do you count or do something like CR that? CR counts. See, the CR's the only guy in here that knows how to count. Now I can count backwards. Come on, that coon ass can't even count frontwards, much less backwards. All right. Why don't we just do it on our finger? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Keep counting. You, you can't, you're counting oh, you backwards. Okay, okay, seven, five, four, three, and two. Five. One. Hang on. We're all in position. It just looks like it's going to be a good one. I certainly hope so. This is my first time with such a contraption. Here it comes. Five, four, stand by to zoom out. Three, three, two, this far. What happened? No. Ignition. We just did the little blast thing. off. Good grief. Zoom oh, back, Phil. Back. Everybody hold on I'll now. I'll tell you this. Oh, this is an easy one, Chuck. I would have thought it would have been a deafening roar or something, at least. You at least shake around in your seat like it, is, like it really is rough. Right, I'm done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can find something on the radio. On the radio? <laughs> it's rather pretty. That's not a radio. Pick up something on the telly. Well, this is space. We are really spaced out on it. <laughs> I know. This is going to be a real trip. How long is it going to take us to get there? Oh, right there, Phil. Three and a half years, we didn't tell you that. Good heavens. But there's there's no way we can accelerate a lot of shows. Maybe we should go back. Is there any way we can turn around? I don't think so. Move in. Do something. Just pan across the room. <laughs> this is all we're going to get for our nickel this time, huh? I think it's about time for a commercial. All right, stand by to zoom, Phil. Do you realize we're backing up? Oh, no, not anymore. You're all felt. Go ahead and so let's, let's do a commercial. Let's do a commercial. Then, we're gonna, then we'll go ahead and set you down on Mars. All right, let's go. Uh, let's get the commercial thing on. Beautiful. Like the fourth of See, I finally found my keys. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Is that a self key? <laughs> you know. I certainly would have signed on to this cruise if I had known that. And 
Neither would anybody want to wait it up. Oh, three and a half years. It didn't last as long as you thought it would, did it? Is that ball straight out there? Uh, the well, I'll stay out here. I'll take care of it. Well, I'm going to get yeah, that Mars out there. Uh, just Listen, you never have, together. uh, you never even introduced me to your assistants here. This is Gory and, uh, Storch. They don't, they don't do much talking, huh? No, they don't. They, um, could be Storch doesn't do much B either, I think. No, Storch is rather, uh, invisible. That's the purpose of our trip up here. Oh, I see. To get a, an ingredient to go with the little formula that he worked on a little earlier. Operations in control. Time to get out. Time to get out, huh? Well, I think it's time. We should be done. We're just about to, uh, get ready, to, get ready to set you down. down. We're just about ready to get you to, yeah. Yeah, y'all can just scoot on out to the old limb, and then we'll put you down on the floor. Right. about that. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you, you realize, realize this, this is one thing we didn't talk about with terms of the contract. We didn't, uh, tell you that, uh, yeah, we told you how much it cost and everything. We didn't tell you how much it that was just to get you tomorrow. Did tell you how much it cost to get you back? Well, fine. I, I can handle the retired trip. I mean, you know, it, it, it's really expensive. I talked over with my cost analyst. This is really expensive to just circle around Mars for a while where you're just sort of standing around. Well, is there no way you could just uh, turn your meter off? <laughs> no, no that's, that's one of the tricks. That's one of the rules of the game. Not one going to speed it up the you, know, you can't go back without a fare, can you? Can you say a fare? <laughs> Uh, well, that's your, your job. All I do is drive this buggy. I say, uh, I worry. Every once in a while, they, they wow. get on me with that little thing. And go, <laughs> and I, don't I heard that they did that last week. Really. Well, uh, I don't know why myself. But we picked up your show down in Houston. We watch it pretty regularly down in Houston. That was Houston. I've got this ring that uh, Becky Coates laid on me. Hold on a second. What's we'll that, too? Uh, your ring. Talk to the driver. <laughs> Where is it, too? Right you tell me about your ring. There you go. Pinky finger. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah. Anyway, there's this little ring. She says it's a genuine witch's ring. I've never had one before. Kind of a little. But I can almost assure her, or you, that something dreadful is going to happen. Either it's going to be dreadfully good or dreadfully bad. But I don't think there's any in between when you wear one of these things. But anyway... <laughs> it depends on which witch you're talking about, right? It's supposed to bring luck of one kind or another. And, uh... Well, you're going to need some luck because it's time for you to get out to the module. I'm going to... The limb, uh, whatever you call get it. Get out to the limb. And, uh... Corey, why don't you see if you can find storage over there? And we'll just all sneak... Why, so? Slither into that little opening. All right, we'll see you later, Doc. Yeah, Doc. We'll talk about time. your fee later. All right? Be careful. Stand by the zoo, Bill. I'll Here, I'll tell you. All right. Zoo, Bill. Oh, next stop. <laughs> Good I don't think he's going to make it, Dave. <laughs> if he makes it, it'll be an accident. That's the truth. Well, this whole show is an accident. Too bad, was it? I guess we made it. I think we have made it. And now, uh, let's step over here to this little beam area. Yeah. Just uh, make sure that you get all of yourself within this little circle. And we're going to beam ourselves out on the surface of this thing. I think that should do it. One, two, Let me three. Push. Wow. Yes, I'm going to push this button. And we should, uh, good grief. Hey. It was faster than I had thought. Well, so much for that can even breathe. Can breathe. Yes, I hadn't even given it any thought, but it is rather pleasant it's being able to breathe, finally. Yes. I wonder if we're alone up here. It's been mm. a long time since I've visited this planet. Strange landscape, man. It's rather weird. Outright weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't remember what area it was that I found that uh, particular kind of rock, but I think it's somewhere around here. I wonder if we're alone up here. I wonder if there's any other kind of... By George, I thought you'd never hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> wow. Little Good space feet. people. It's a... Uh, what are you? Really spaced out. Hmm? Like a bunch of Martians. I think it oinks. Hey. Hmm? No violence. You I don't understand. They have a color problems up here. One of them is yellow and the other one is pink. This is weird. I Why don't understand your language and I also don't speak it. But uh, I would uh, be careful what? jumping around on this crater like nonsensical. One this is the rascal. One foot. Huh. Disgusting color. Really burnt. Yeah. Look, uh, we're going to extend this thing uh, into next week. Apparently, we've just about run out of time. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's movies, and we're going to... It's called a hand. We'll be back next Saturday night at 10.15 with... Uh, you only got three fingers. Two very, very fine movies. One oh. is called... Uh, I wish I could remember. The Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. The other one is called The Mystery five. of the White Five. Room. We'll be looking for you five. next Saturday night at 10.15. I've seen some. Here. Oh. Good grief. <laughs>